Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on setting up and using the credit package system for paid submissions in the WP Job Portal plugin. This credit system empowers administrators to implement a monetization system where employers and job seekers are charged for various actions. They can create customized packages with associated credit packs by specifying actions for which employers and job seekers will be charged credits. So in this video, we will learn how administrators can configure and add packages for paid submissions and how employers and job seekers can then purchase these packages. Let's get started. To use this feature, ensure that you have the credit system add-on installed and activated. To check the activation status of the add-on, navigate to the WordPress menu and select the plugins option. Locate the add-on in the list of plugins and verify its activation, and the add-on is active. Additionally, to process credit payments through WooCommerce, make sure you have the WooCommerce plugin activated. After activating them, you will now have the ability to seamlessly configure and add packages for paid submissions in the WP Job Portal. So let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. WP Job Portal offers two types of paid submissions, one with a per-listing system and the other with a membership plan. First, we will proceed with the per-listing mode. From your admin dashboard, go to System Configurations in the menu, and then open Package Settings. This will take us to this page where we enable paid submissions. As you can see, the WP Job Portal offers two types of paid submissions, and as we are configuring the per-listing mode, so we will select this option. When using the per-listing mode, payment will be charged for each action you define below, so configure the action price for per-listing submission based on your needs. Start by selecting the currency type, then enter the price for each company submission, and just like that set a price per job submission, price per featured job submission, etc. Remember, actions with zero prices are considered free and won't require a purchase. Once configured, save the configurations. The configuration has been stored. Now let's move on to the employer dashboard and see how employers perform paid submissions with the per listing mode. So from the employer dashboard, we will perform some of the actions that we have set up in the configurations. First, let's start with the company creation. On the add company form, we will create the company by adding details about the company. Once you are done with the details, hit the Save Company button. You can see that the company has been created but is not published due to paid submissions. So to publish the company, we will proceed to payment. This will open a pop-up window that enables us to select a payment method to buy a package. WP Job Portal offers several payment methods, but currently, we will exclusively utilize WooCommerce for payment processing. So we will select the option for payment. As we hit the payment option, a notification pop-up appears indicating that WooCommerce product not found please contact the system administrator. It means that the system administrator first adds a product with a set price to their WooCommerce store. Then, the employer can purchase credits by buying that product. To add a product to your WooCommerce store, simply access your WordPress admin dashboard. Click on the Products tab in the WooCommerce menu. Select Add New to create a new product. Fill in the necessary information for your product, including title and description. Under the Product Data section, choose the Product Type. In the Product Data section, you'll find two options, WP Job Portal Package and WP Job Portal Per Listing. These are available only with the Credit System add-on installed, and all WooCommerce products will be added with these two options, as we are creating this product for per listing, so we will select the corresponding option. Enter the regular price for company creation. If you want to offer a sale price for the combo package, enter the discounted price in the field. Next, define the combo package by selecting the component you want to include, such as the company. Once you have filled in all the required details, publish the product within your store. After successfully adding a product to WooCommerce, now the employer will purchase it to publish the company. To make the purchase, click on the Proceed to Payment button and select the WooCommerce option for payment. This action will direct you to the checkout page, where you'll be prompted to provide the necessary billing details to proceed with your order. Once you have filled in all the required details, proceed to place your order, and after successfully paying for the product, the company has been published. Let's create another paid submission with the per-listing mode. Now we proceed with the steps involved in adding a new job. Start by filling out the job creation form with all the essential details about the position.
Once you're done, hit the Save Job button. You'll notice that the job is now created but remains unpublished due to the Paid Submissions feature. To get your job listing live, we'll again need to go through the payment process. Click on Proceed to Payment, triggering a pop-up allowing you to select a payment method to purchase a package. Since we have selected WooCommerce as the payment option, there are currently no products available for purchase. Therefore, first, let's start by adding a product to your WooCommerce store. Head over to your Products section. Hit Add New to begin creating a new product. Fill in all the necessary details, including the title and description. Under the Product Data section, choose the product type per listing. Set the regular price and sale price accordingly. Select the package components, such as the ad job. Once you've filled in all the details, don't forget to publish the product within your WooCommerce store. After successfully adding the product, employers can proceed with purchasing it to publish the job. Click on Proceed to Payment, select WooCommerce as your payment method, and complete the payment by providing the necessary billing details. Once the payment is confirmed, your job will be published and visible to potential candidates on the platform. Next, let's proceed with featuring this job. Adding a job to the featured list also requires payment, similar to adding a new job. The system administrator will first add the product to the WooCommerce store, and then the employer can purchase it to make the payment. After successfully adding the product to your WooCommerce store, you can proceed with purchasing that product to feature the job. Click on Proceed to Payment and select the WooCommerce option. Complete the payment process, and once done, the job will be featured. Let's explore the process of viewing resume contact details. To begin, employers will navigate to the resume by category section from the menu. Here, all created resumes are organized category-wise. By selecting a category, employers can access the resumes within that category. Once the resume list is displayed, they can open any resume of interest. Upon opening the resume, an option to view resume contact details will be available. This option requires payment, similar to previous submissions under the per-listing mode. After completing the payment process, employers can proceed to view the resume contact details. The product will first be added to the WooCommerce store by the system administrator. So after adding a product to WooCommerce, click on Proceed to Payment, select the WooCommerce option, and complete the payment. After paying for the product, the resume contact details will be accessible. And just like that, with per-listing pricing, users can make paid submissions by paying for each action. This pricing model allows for a tailored and flexible approach to payment, ensuring that users only pay for the specific actions they require. Let's now dive into the process of configuring the membership plan offered by the WP Job Portal. Similarly, as an administrator, begin by accessing the system configuration from your dashboard, and then open the package settings. Once the membership plan is selected, administrators will proceed to set up packages for it. These configurations are only for per-listing mode. For membership plans, admins will create separate packages in the designated section. So just save your configurations and proceed to create a package for the plan. Navigate to the Add New Package section in the menu. On this page, proceed to create your package. Begin by providing a descriptive title for your package. Next, specify whether the package is intended for employers, job seekers, or both. You have the flexibility to create separate packages for each or a combined package for both. For now, let's design this package specifically for employers. Decide if it's free or paid, then set the price for the package along with currency selections. Next, select how long the package lasts. Admins will then define what's included in the package, like how many companies employers can create. Add to the featured list, the duration of featured company status, and view company contact details. Similarly, administrators will determine the package features for the job section, specifying details such as the number of job postings, featured job options, job expiry status, and job alerts. In the resume section, certain fields are job seeker specific, so they will be set to zero, while employer related fields will be defined. After that, the remaining features will be configured for the package. And once completed, set the package status to publish and save the package. The employer-specific package has been created. Next, let's head towards adding a product to the WooCommerce store, which employers will purchase to buy this package. 
Access the WooCommerce product section. Select Add New to create a new product. Provide the information for your product. In the Product Data section, choose the WP Job Portal Package option from the drop-down menu. Enter the price for the package and select the appropriate package combo. Remember that values displayed in the package combo are aligned with the product data selection. Finally, publish the product to make it available in your WooCommerce store. Now, let's head to the employer dashboard to proceed with paid submissions by purchasing the package included in the membership plan. Simply click on Add Company in the menu. Once the membership plan is enabled, you can see that there's a need to buy a package to create a company. Just hit the Buy Package button to get started. This action will direct you to the Packages List page. Click the Buy Now button and select the WooCommerce option. Complete the payment process and place your order. After successfully paying for the product, the Ad Company form will be displayed. The company's specific details of the package are prominently displayed at the top of the form, indicating the number of companies you can create. As you create a company, the system will update to show how many remaining companies you have left. Additionally, the Change Package button allows you to switch packages if you have purchased more than one and wish to deduct the payment of this company to a different package. Now we will create the company by adding details about the company. Once you are done with the details, hit the Save Company button. You can see that the company has been created and published. As featuring a company is included in our package, we'll now add this company to the Featured Company list. Simply click the Add Feature button, and a pop-up window will appear for package selection, providing specific feature information. Select the package and hit the Add to Feature button. The company has been added to the feature list. Next, we will add a job with this package. The information about jobs included in the package is being displayed, showing the number of jobs available to add, the remaining count, and the job expiry time. Now, proceed to fill in the details about the job. Once you're satisfied with the information, click Save Job to create and publish the job. To add the job to the Featured Job list, simply click the Add Feature button. Select the package and then click Add to Feature. This will add the job to the Featured Job list according to your package's features. Now let's head toward the Resume Search option which is included in our purchase package. To search for resumes, navigate to the Resume Search section from the menu. In this section, you can browse through resumes using various criteria. You can apply specific filters to narrow down your search results. Once you've applied the filters, click on the Resume Search option. This will display all the resumes that match your search criteria. You have the option to save your search by assigning it a name. This saved search will be stored in your Resume Save Searches section, and any new resumes that match the saved filters will automatically appear in this section. The next feature involved in our package is showing resume contact details. Clicking on this button will trigger a pop-up window for package selection, providing specific feature information. Select the package and hit Show Resume Contact. You will then be able to access and view the contact details on the resume. Now, let's dive into explaining the process of paid submissions with a membership plan for job seekers. To do this, first, we will create a job seekers specific package. So once again head back to the WP Job Portal Package section and hit the Add New Package button. Likewise, administrators will add the package by assigning a title and selecting it for job seekers. And further, they will specify job seeker related fields, while setting employer related required fields to zero. Once done, set the package status to publish and save the package. The Job Seeker exclusive package has been created. Now, let's proceed with paid submissions from the Job Seeker's side. From the dashboard, click on the Add Resume button. To purchase this package through WooCommerce, the Job Seeker will need to buy a product. Therefore, if there's no product in the WooCommerce store, the administrator must first add it. After adding a product to WooCommerce, proceed to purchase the package with the same steps. After successfully paying for the product, the Add New Resume form will be displayed. The package details for resume creation are being displayed. Next, create the resume by adding details. Music 
once you are done with the details, hit the Save Resume button. The resume has been created and published. To feature the resume, just click Add to Feature. Then, select the package and click Add to Feature. That's it. The resume has been added to the feature list. Let's now check out other payment options WP Job Portal offers for paid submissions, besides WooCommerce. As an administrator, navigate to the System Configuration and access the Payment Methods section. Besides WooCommerce, WP Job Portal offers payment via PayPal and Stripe. To enable payments through these platforms, you need to configure them with WP Job Portal. To enable PayPal for payment, select Yes. Then, you'll need to obtain PayPal API credentials from your PayPal account to fill in the remaining fields. So first we will get PayPal API credentials. To obtain API credentials from PayPal, follow these steps. Log into your PayPal business account. Navigate to the Tools menu and select Selling Tools. Under the Integrate PayPal section, click on Update. If prompted, confirm your account information. You'll find your API credentials under the NVP SOAP API Integration section. Click on Manage API Credentials. Here, you can view your API username, password, and signature. If you haven't generated API credentials before, you may need to request permission from PayPal to do so. Copy and securely store your API credentials, as they are required for integrating PayPal with WP Job Portal. Once you have obtained your API credentials, you can proceed to fill in the relevant fields in the WP Job Portal payment method configuration. After enabling PayPal for payment, we'll do the same for Stripe. To complete the setup, you'll need to obtain your Stripe Publishable Key and Secret Key. To obtain your Stripe Publishable Key and Secret Key, follow these steps. Log into your Stripe account. Once logged in, navigate to Developers and select the API Keys section from the left-hand menu. You'll find your Publishable Key and Secret Key listed under the Standard Keys section. If you haven't generated API Keys before, click on the Create Secret Key button to generate a new set of keys. Copy your Publishable Key and Secret Key and paste them into the corresponding fields in the WP Job Portal Payment Configuration settings. After adding the keys, save your configurations. Your Stripe and PayPal integration is now set up and ready for payment processing. To begin paid submissions via PayPal or Stripe, let's purchase a package through any of these platforms. From the menu, click on the Add Company button, select Buy Package. Then click Buy Now. You'll notice that PayPal and Stripe are now enabled for payment alongside WooCommerce. Choose your preferred payment method and click Buy Now. After completing the payment with PayPal, the Add New Company form will be displayed. And that's all. By following these steps, you can effortlessly make paid submissions in WP Job Portal, whether it's through per listing mode or a membership plan, using your preferred payment method. We hope you have found this video to be helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.